Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well. God bless you. I want to share with you guys about a party that I went to back in 2020 uh, at the top of the year when Zoom was just coming in. It was my very first Zoom party. And I was super excited. You know, Zoom was just becoming popular at this point. Um, I had was using Zoom before in presentations and things like that, but I had never been an attendee. And so I was excited just for the fact of a party also. Uh, it was my friend's 40th birthday. You know, many people were coming. I was seeing a lot of friends that I hadn't seen in ages, and it was fun. But at the beginning part, it wasn't so fun for me. Here it is now. I've always been in a position where I'm leading, I'm presenting, you know, no problem. I can do that part. And, you know, having other people and bringing them into the room. But when it came time for me to, you know, be that person that was being brought into the room and to just sit and listen and look, I, it was hard. Not in the sense that, you know, I couldn't do that, but just getting into Zoom. I didn't know how to turn on the volume. I didn't know how to, uh, how to, um, with the camera to turn my camera on and to make sure I was being seen. I wasn't sure if people were seeing me. I couldn't even, you know, I could hear, but they couldn't hear me. And I'm there trying to swipe, you know, okay, what do I do? I was confused. I wasn't even on my computer. I was on my phone, which made it worse. It was a very interesting experience, a learning experience, but I bounced back. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I can say that I do very well, you know, being an attendee in a Zoom uh, meeting or, you know, type of whatever platform it may be. But alas, uh, I learned lessons that day and it came to me today. I started laughing about it, uh, just thinking about it today. And I said, uh, let me share this with you guys. And so lesson learned that sometimes some of us, we may be great in positions of leadership and control, being out front, leading and guiding and all that kind of good stuff. But when it comes time to sit down, listen, you know, maybe just be an attendee to follow, pay attention. Uh, you know, what directions were given, you know, and just run with that. We find it hard to do. And sometimes, you know, we need to be able to do that. And sometimes we can even learn more in that position than being out front and thinking that we know everything. Okay. And let's, you know, share our, all our knowledge with everybody else. Sometimes it's okay just to sit down, sit back, pay attention, be the follower, be the attendee and listen. All right, you guys. So that's, a, I hope you'll be able to take that lesson away from this. That's what I got when I was chuckling to myself this morning about this. I said, let me share it with you. Um, a Bible verse to add with it also as well. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that's taken from John chapter eight, verse 12, John chapter eight, verse 12. So I hope this helps a little bit. It was just something that tickled me. I said, let me share it with you guys. And that maybe somebody, you know, this would resonate with them, but it's okay to sit back, to follow, to not have to uh, be the person that is uh, in control all the time. We don't always have to be leading and out front. We don't always have to be, you know, everybody eyes on me. We can sit back. We can follow. And, you know, like it says here, to follow Christ. And definitely, you know, Christ knows more than we do. <laughs> and um, there's nothing that we, you know, in even in our most top parts of intellect, you know, it still can't compare. God gave it all to us. And so we can sit back and follow. We can pay attention. We can listen to him. Or whether, you know, if it's at work situation, maybe we have to step back you know, and give the mic to somebody else or get the platform to somebody else. It's okay to not talk all the time and be the one answering all the questions. You know, let somebody else, you know, listen and learn and what can we gain and glean from that. Um, and to, you know, you, you may get something from it that you didn't know before. So that's just my little uh, diamond for the day that I want to share with you. It tickled me this morning. I am not the greatest storyteller, <laughs> but I wanted to share that with you. And I hope uh, that you are blessed. I love you guys. I hope you um, have a wonderful rest of your day, beginning of your day, whatever time of day it may be for you. But I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I'm praying for you, praying with you. And if you have any prayer requests, please drop that down below and we'll see each other again next time. God bless you.